Just wait for the dog to finish having a drink. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel, Mediocre Mama. It's Ruth here. I hope you're doing really well. I feel like my videos are just really noisy at the moment. I've got both the kids home. We're still in lockdown. I have constant noise around me. My two-year-old doesn't seem to really want to nap anymore. Neither does she want to leave my side. So if you hear a lot of noise going on in the background, that's just, that's my life at the moment and not a lot I can do about it. But I am 33 weeks pregnant now, so I just wanted to do a little quick update and just share with you a few things that I've been doing kind of during the last couple of weeks in my pregnancy, things I'm preparing for or getting ready. Um, yeah, just what I've been getting up to. So at 33 weeks, my baby is now basically the size of a pineapple, apparently. And I am starting to feel now that size and that weight. Um, getting a lot of pain in my ribs, which is quite common for me. I had that in my first two pregnancies. So that's where I suffer the most, in my ribs. And the other thing I'm experiencing is needing a wee a lot in the night. It doesn't matter how much I drink before I go to bed. I can be up three or four times in the night having a wee, so my sleep is very disruptive at the moment because I have to keep constantly weeing in the night. Although I feel like constantly needing a wee in the night is what prepares a mum for a newborn, for those constant waking up moments. So it doesn't really bother me. I'm kind of used to it now. Also a lot of heartburn and acid reflux whenever I eat, even if I have just a bite of something, I'm kind of feeling that acidy sensation for most of the day. So this is my new best friend, just drinking it from the bottle um, throughout the day, trying to relieve that acid feeling, which is just so annoying. But one really good thing is this baby is so active. So active, I might say, maybe the most active out of all my three pregnancies. Baby just does not stop moving and the movement is quite strong. Sometimes it's quite sore, like if it's pushing in a particular place and I touch there, it feels quite sore. Or sometimes a particular movement might kind of make me go like, ooh. Um, so I'm not really having to actively count the kicks because this baby is moving all the time that I would notice straight away if this baby was being quite still. So. In some ways, it's really, really great that this baby is so active. It's really reassuring. But at other times, it's sometimes like, okay, have a little rest now. It does not stop moving until I basically go to sleep. And even then, when I'm trying to go off to sleep, it's moving all the time. I'm hoping this isn't a bad sign for another bad sleeper because my first pregnancy was very active and he was a terrible sleeper. So maybe that is going to happen again. I don't know. My second baby didn't really move at all and she's been a brilliant sleeper and much calmer. So we shall see. Anyway, next week when I'm 34 weeks, I'll be seeing my midwife and I think that is a double appointment um, where we'll start to discuss birth a bit more and also I'll finally find out what position baby is laying in. I honestly don't have a clue. Sometimes it's really hard on my left side and it feels like a back and other times it's really hard on my right side and that feels like the back of the baby. I just don't know how baby is laying, but it'll be really interesting to know. Um, but ideally head down, that would be my ideal um, position of baby, of course. But yeah, this week I've got the birthing ball back out. It is time for the birthing ball. I've been having a good bounce and getting my hips moving, which helps baby to get into correct position, but also helping with my kind of aches and pains. I can't really sit on the sofa anymore. It's so uncomfortable. It just makes my back ache. It's not supporting me at all. So the birthing ball is really helpful. And I've done a video about that, which you can check out on my channel if you wish to. Now, although I hope to birth at home, I do still pack a hospital bag and kind of start to get things ready um, just so I have everything in one place, but also just in case I do need to be transferred to hospital. So the suitcase is out. I'm starting to get a few things ready. I bought a new changing bag on Amazon, which I really love. It was reduced. I think I got it for about 13 or 14 pounds, which is really good. And it's got tons of zips and compartments in there for kind of 
dirty clothes or bottles and food and all sorts. So I've started to collect in here things I need for baby and um, starting to gradually get a few things for the hospital bag. But I will need to kind of go out in a few more weeks and do kind of a big shop for things that I need for myself more than the baby. The baby's pretty much done. I've got clothes and blankets and all that sort of thing. So that's kind of ready. And I also picked myself up a really cool nappy caddy. I've always wanted a nappy caddy. I've never bought one and I do not know why because I'm so fed up of going up and down the stairs for nappies and wipes. This is going to be an absolute life changer for me to just have a bag of everything I need downstairs. I don't know why I've not done this before, but um, I'm all ready this time with the nappy caddy, nappies and wipes downstairs. No more going up and down the stairs to get nappies and wipes. So yeah, not too much yet. I've got, here's the bag, the, the bag for the baby, which I'm starting to collect a few bits in there. Starting to wash clothes and get things ready, muslins, um, stuff to sleep in and nappies and some water wipes for the first kind of poos that they do. But of course at some point I'll do like a proper hospital bag, baby bag video plus um, home birth kit as well for anyone that's considering a home birth and what you need for that. Uh, but yes, I will do another video on that once it's all completed. And then the only other thing I've really kind of been doing is practicing my hypnobirthing, mainly at night when I go to bed. So popping in my headphones and listening to the meditations and the scripting and just starting to get my body used to relaxing um, and also practicing my breathing techniques as well. So that's about it, dealing with aches and pains. Uh, bouncing on my ball, hypnobirthing, starting to wash clothes, pack things, just gradually getting ready as the weeks go by and um, just a lot of bouncing on the ball. But that is my update. I will do another video next week after I've seen the midwife who will let you know what position baby's lying in and what the next steps are. But that's my update for today. So thank you so much for watching. And if you want to continue the rest of my journey, make sure you hit the subscribe button and I'll see you really soon. Take care. Bye bye.